This is Lily Tube by Eric Gozer. Uh, it's available on Amazon.com. Uh, the link is at the bottom of the video. Please uh, click on that and take a look. Uh, the first four chapters are available to read free online or for download for the Kindle, Kindle app uh, for your iPad or tablet or iPhone and also for Kindle for the PC. Uh, this is the first chapter and there will be three more available for the next uh, three more videos available for the next three chapters uh, that are available for free. So let's begin chapter one. I think my water just broke. What? he asked. My water broke. The baby is coming. She said with a nervous smile, the expression of her face a mix of excitement and panic. The next few moments were a blur, a quick dash to find the car keys. Where was the number to the OBGYN? Was it in the phone? No. Why didn't I program it in the phone? Stupid. Mike's heart raced like a locomotive. Please just let me stay calm. Lena stood there holding her belly. It's not going to fall out, right? It can't, right? Mike found the keys hiding underneath the mail. Yes, I remember. The number was tacked to the fridge. He grabbed the phone and started to dial Dr. Brenner. Please don't be on a golf vacation. He said he'd be available. I can call, she said. I can call him. Let's just drive. Okay. Mike grabbed Linda's coat, the light beige one she had since they started dating. He checked his front pockets. Wallet. Phone. Check. Mike took Linda by the arm and walked her out of the front door of their apartment. Thank God we live on the first floor. The car was sitting directly outside. He had finally found a good spot. It was meant to be. What kind of a building doesn't have assigned spots? Mike held her gently by the arm. To him she was fragile like porcelain. She's not going to break. Linda wanted to say something, but she refrained. He was more breakable than she was. She knew that he wanted to do everything right. This was their first child, a girl. She had, off, she had held off on naming her until she was born. Linda had told Mike it was because she wanted to hold her first. Then she could name her. So she had a list of names, a small list, but the truth was she wanted to surprise him. She knew that he wanted to name her Barbara, after his mother. She had told him no. Barbara was old-fashioned. It wasn't a sweet-sounding name. He was disappointed, even a little upset, but he dropped the idea. Today she was going to tell him it would be Barbara. The ride to the hospital is frantic. Damn traffic lights. Why always when you have to get somewhere in a hurry? Then his face showed the pressure of the early contractions. Her breathing was heavy and belabored. We'll be there soon. No answer. Just harder breathing and a look of concern. It was enough to tell him that words weren't going to cut it. Just get her there. Thank God the doc is on his way. Mike floored the old Civic down the street, almost missing the stop sign and barreling into the intersection on the side of a pickup. Don't get us killed, Michael. Los Angeles County Hospital was just over a hill, and Mike pushed the little silver car up as hard as he could. The engine growled and sputtered, but it made it without losing steam. The brightly lit building, which sat in stark contrast to the dark sky behind it, was like an oasis to a lost desert wanderer. Thank God. Mike pulled in through the gate and parked the car in front of the emergency entrance and flung open the car door and ran over to help Linda out of her seat. The security guard left his post and walked with brisk authority over to the silver car. You can't park that here. My wife is going into labor. I need your help, Mike said. The guard looked frozen for an instant as he tried to figure out what to do next. Okay, I'll get help. The guard ran back to the glass double doors in that red emergency department in bold red lettering and grabbed a wheelchair. He came back out with two nurses, a short blonde and a tall fat one. The short one took Linda from Mike and helped her sit in the chair. Who's your OB, she asked. Brenner, Dr. Gary Brenner, Mike said, his head still spinning. Are you going to be okay? The other nurse asked Mike, concerned by how pale he looked. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Can you take... We'll take her to the livery, the tall one said. Is your doc here? Yeah, Mike said. My wife called him. He said he would be here. Okay, dearie, don't worry, the tall, fat nurse answered, her voice too cheerful for the stressed out husband. We'll take good care of her. You still need to move that, the security guard interjected, trying to use the deepest voice he could. Okay, where do I put it? Parking, the guard answered, annoyed at the question. He pointed to the adjacent building, an ugly gray, ten-story parking garage. Asshole. That's the end of chapter one. Lilitu is a novel of about 250 pages uh, and 40 chapters. Some of them are short, some of them are long. It just depends on the chapter. Uh, it is available 
on Amazon.com. The link is below. Please click on that and just uh, go. It'll take you right to the Amazon.com uh, page for the book. And um, if you're interested, the first four chapters are available to read for free online or directly for a download onto your Kindle, Kindle app for your iPad or tablet or iPhone or Android, or also Kindle for PC. Uh, take a look, read them. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. And uh, if you like it, uh, then please purchase the book. Uh, we'll also release the next three chapters on YouTube so you can listen to them if you uh, like to do it that way. I will try to uh, uh, figure out a way to get the book uh, completely done in audio form so that uh, anybody who's interested in the audio version of the book can get it as well. But uh, right now it's available for, uh, for your Kindle. Uh, the book is, um, just give you a little bit of a background of uh, what it's based on uh, in terms of how the, you know, where the name comes from. Lilith is based on the myth of Lilith. And um, if you're not aware of who uh, Lilith is uh, in mythology, or who, who she was in mythology, Lilith was Adam's first wife, uh, the woman he was essentially married to before Eve. And uh, she's not mentioned in the Bible, but she is mentioned in the Talmud, uh, the Babylonian Talmud, as well as the alphabet of Ben Sira. And uh, it's thought that she's based on the Assyrian uh, legend of the Lilithu. Assyri the uh, Lilithu essentially was a female demon. The Assyrians uh, believed that the demons could have either male or female characteristics, and the female demons were called Lilithus. And uh, they dwelled in deserts, and they had uh, somewhat uh, almost the characteristics of an animal a little bit. Uh, uh, you know, uh, they're modern day, uh, I think a lot of people will refer to them as a succubus. Uh, they are essentially female demons who target men, target their families, and they make it their mission in life to just destroy their, destroy those men, and, destroy, and, and, and the way to do that is essentially destroy their families and destroy uh, really everything about their lives. So, uh, it is, uh, it's a thriller. Uh, it's a horror, I would say, supernatural thriller. And uh, again, I you know, please encourage you to, uh, to read the first four chapters. Uh, like I said before, they are free. doesn't cost you anything to read them. And if you're interested, purchase the book and uh, leave a review. Thanks so much.